Okay, hello everybody, and today I would like to show you a very cool technique I am trying to work on to use fiber mesh to extract uh, some sort of uh, nice texture to be used for, uh, let's say, for example, some low poly character. Um, every type of character that needs uh, uh, some sort of fur like look, uh, but uh, without real fur, but having this in the texture and maybe in the normal map. So, to make this I will uh, also show you a couple of nice techniques uh, and first of all I want to let's say that this model have uh, already UVs uh, but in this case I want to create them from scratch and uh, let's say that we will use the UV master so first of all I want to work on clone and that's it and then I will uh, simply try to create an unwrap Okay, and I have already uh, checked the check sim option, and we can see that the sims are pretty good because uh, I really don't want them to happen here in the face. Uh, and yes, yeah, we have this nasty area, but it's somewhat hidden, so that's okay. I will uh, copy the UVs and go here and paste the UVs. Okay, so let's check if it transferred well by doing this morph UVs and that's it yep well maybe here mm, no it didn't work quite well this is not the, the type of UV layout I want so let me try to make this again and we are still in the clone we have gone back and then I will enable the control painting and maybe attract here up to this area because otherwise we will have uh, this phase area that uh, receives too few polygons so we want this sim to happen all up let's see if now it works uh, unwrap and okay and let's try to make a flatten yes now it works it's not symmetrical but it doesn't matter but now you can see that compared to the previous version now we have uh, a good uh, flattening of this area and not all these polygons collapsed so again I'm flatten and copy UVs go here and paste the UVs and now we'll save these let me go here in this folder and create a new one ok, here it is and this is our version let's say that we have uh, created the UVs uh, in another program so uh, let's go into preferences in need ZBrush and let's start from scratch just to be sure that we have our tool list clear now we'll perform this macro just to get rid of the default material and the background gradient so I'm loading back my tool now here I am I experienced a little crash but uh, loaded this back and this is the dog we have saved and now it of course has the texture map you can always check by doing this morph UVs and now that's it now the theory behind uh, this technique is that it will be nice uh, to use the fiber mesh and make them grow in some sort of a version of this character that has mm, this uh, UV shape and there's a layout that can be uh, in, somewhat, in some way be positioned in the screen uh, matching the actual UVs. This can be done by let's go into morph UVs, going always here into the Z plugin, UV master, work on clone. And when we press the work on clone you can see that something strange happens because the tool changes somewhat size because the UV master plugin set the size of this tool so that when we press this unflatten button the UV layout that is square will match the sides of a plane 3D and that's very important now let me delete this one and another cool fact is that if now I 
go here and export this one as an OBJ and then go here and import this back I will uh, export the flattened version so now we have this tool that basically uh, has the same layout of the UVs of this one so we can use this to start creating here into our where uh, fiber mesh preview create some grooming for our fiber mesh I will go here into the modifier and let's say that we will lower down or let's raise up now let's make something uh, about halfway and put the length down I could also lower down the by area to make those uh, uh, more consistent without uh, all these length variants and let's put the gravity down to zero and maybe also in some case we want to play with some revolve very slight let's look at this yes and of course I want to put more segments and we could also associate some random texture okay just to be sure that we are creating the fibers with UVs uh, then we can also deactivate this one but just in case we want to use some texture to colorize these fibers okay and then yes we have the segments the revolve radius is way too high and let's also try to play with some clamping option just to make those nice clamps and then accept this always yes okay here we are and now first of all we have to start making the grooming and I like to use fiber mesh to make this type of um, effect because uh, really you can groom the fibers uh, uh, real, real quick and when it comes to grooming first of all I like to use the move brush and I go here into the fiber mesh option in the brush menu and pull the preserve length up to 100 and maybe also let's pull up a bit this forward propagation and lower down the front collision tolerance to the value of 2 because uh, we really don't want uh, to have those uh, roots uh, to stick vertically okay so based on the layout you can see this also in polyframe we have to select this one and we can start to groom and first of all I want to use a very hydro size let's pull the dynamic off and pull all those air down to give this effect of them being somewhat flat maybe too much okay just try not to exaggerate okay and now I will start to think about on how this fur will uh, flow throughout this character so here in the legs uh, it will go somewhat in this way uh, I'm not doing right now the face because uh, it will take some time and of course with this technique uh, you will for sure have to fix the seams uh, but if you lay down uh, well your UVs uh, minimizing the number of seams and the, uh, the areas in which those happen you can of course achieve great results also I can activate the snake hook <laughs> brush uh, and the snake hook is uh, really nice because uh, um, compared to the move you can associate uh, some sort of alpha uh, let's use uh, one of the default uh, let's say this one okay but let's change this and raise the contrast up and then transfer and also add some sort of blur we don't want this to be too sharp and make a modified alpha okay so now when I'm touching this you can see that I can really put some sort of waviness here in the fur and it's amazing but 
you can really use whatever brush you want just a matter of preferences and I can also change to a spray mode to make this effect way more random and let's try to cover everything like so and we can always go into Photoshop and erase some areas uh, um, for example in on the nose uh, you really don't want this okay so let's call this done and now I can deactivate the visibility of this uh, tool and go here and append a plane 3D okay oh I'm not sure if I made the groom in the right direction yes but we can always flip this later so now the trick is uh, as I said um, it will create this sort of uh, UV layout matching the plane so that if now we create a square document let's say of uh, 2000 by 2000 resize yes control n to pin the screen and zoom this out because you to make this you have to see all the document borders and now let's select this and hit F so that it will snap to the boundaries of the document okay now we can zoom a bit select only this one and let's try to play with some rendering options and in particular I want to activate let's say not the shadow I can of course do it but for this type of effect I really prefer to activate the ambient occlusion uh, let's say that we want to raise up the rays lower down a bit the angle and the blur of course you don't want this ambient occlusion to be too blurry and resolution up and finally lower down the gamma because we want a very very uh, strong ambient occlusion effect after we've done this we can launch a BPR render now we'll pause the video and come back as soon as it finishes okay so here we are and if done let's see this in actual mode and you can see this uh, nicely render fur of course I can play here with the BPR settings I could raise the root anisotropic uh, and play with more subdivision and always also in this case maybe uh, raise up a bit the radius but let's call this good for the sake of the demo so once I've done I will simply go here and save this one and also I want to save not the ambient occlusion but the mask and this because uh, let's now take Photoshop okay here it is here we had some tests I've previously done so let me close those and here it is because when you create the BPR ren render you can see that by default uh, it will uh, create the borders of this fiber mesh to be somewhat jaggy with this jagginess and if you want them to be uh, uh, to have the anti-aliasing effect uh, you will have to apply the mask because in the mask usually you end up having this sort of nice anti-aliasing effect on the border so I will select all of this mask let's copy this uh, and go here create layer from this uh, create a mask uh, go inside the mask uh, paste this uh, and now we have our full ready to be applied as a texture for doing this I want to of course uh, create some sort of background and let's try to select a very dark color coming from this fur and of course uh, if I want I can also duplicate this layer and let's say we can move this uh, to uh, fill a bit more the parts uh, 
make it look like it's uh, somewhat denser. And of course I can always go here and in some areas I can erase uh, and make whatever I want. Okay, so let's now create a folder and I want to duplicate this uh, and merge the, this duplicate just uh, to have the possibility to have a version in which I can create the normal map. So I will save this yes, as my diffuse map test. Okay, and for the normal map I can of course um, use ZBrush, but if I use ZBrush I don't really have the possibility to copy all the species uh, and move them because uh, I really want, do want the normal map to be consistent so in this case I should uh, simply go here in ZBrush and maybe I can make the same exact thing not by duplicating this la the layers but duplicating the earth system and then inserting some sort of randomness and variation just to make sure that in this case of course it will also uh, look more real because uh, we will have uh, those fibers uh, that uh, goes one on the other and intercompanent rate and so probably this will be a, a better approach uh, of course in terms of rendering uh, it will be more time consuming but when I've done this uh, again I will uh, zoom out select this uh, to make this visible and hit F and the first time you hit F you will see that uh, it will frame all the tools uh, inside of the screen but as here we have some fur that goes outside of the plane uh, of course this is not good but if I hit F another time it will only frame the plane okay so now I can select this and select this other one uh, let's say that we are gonna create the texture map from here and for the normal map I want to load here a matcap material that you can find uh, uh, in the zebracentral.com forum um, and this is I think that it's nicer because uh, compared to this one uh, gives uh, better results and once you've done this you can really simple simply sorry disable the ambient occlusion and render out uh, a path in which you have this normal matcap material take some time because there is a lot of fur okay and here it is but of course if you don't like sometimes it creates some sort of strange things uh, but of course you can go here take this one and let's merge all those together and go here and utilize utilize sorry the Nvidia normal map filter the okay and to create a nice normal map and by default if there's not a lot of contrast it will create a very uh, weak normal map so I can go here into adjustments and adjust a bit the contrast of my image or I can make this after creating a normal map of course so let's go here and after done this uh, we are in my image mode adjustments by the co brightness contrast and raise up the contrast you can also try undo uh, they say that it performs uh, gives great results I don't have it so I will go with the Nvidia tools okay and uh, once done let's try to open up our mesh okay here it is this is oh no I have to first of all export the OBJ for the for this version yes so export this uh, and here it is 
Rank 3. Let's go here into Marmoset. Open this one. Oh, it gave strange things happening here in the normals. Sometimes it happens, but let's see if it works. And let's apply this. Oh, yeah. It happened because it uh, created different chunks uh, for my object. So I will pause for a second the video and export, uh, uh, re export this one. And here we are. I had to re export this, uh, and as you can see, uh, also the map had to be flipped in the vertical uh, because I've rendered in the wrong direction. But of course, you can see that now we have this nice texture, and of course, I didn't work on the color and didn't spend too much attention on the direction and of course there are problems uh, at the seams uh, but you can uh, really go into some sort of painting application and go and fix the seams areas by simply duplicating and cloning the areas and putting where you want but of course you can see that also the normal map uh, mm, came out pretty weak uh, but uh, of course I can go always go back in Photoshop and make this stronger. I could also try to create this by using another version and another rendered version with uh, rendered in a pure white to make the the normal more intense but of course the result is uh, nice and if you find some time to play with the render settings also of the fiber mesh uh, the more you play the more you will have the possibility to create nice looking hairs well I hope you like this and it will be that it will be of inspiration for you uh, see you